While the media fawns over the newly sworn in lawmakers, progressive House Democrats are ramping up their anti Trump attacks. Like Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, who unleashed this profane rant calling for the president's impeachment. Watch this. People love you and you win. And when your son looks at you and says, Mama, look, you won, bullies don't win. And I no. said, Baby, they don't because we're going to go in there and we're going to impeach them. <laughs> the freshman lawmaker standing by her comment and President Trump's now responding. Her comments were disgraceful. I think she dishonored herself and I think she dishonored her family. Using language like that in front of her son and whoever else was there, I thought that was a great dishonor to her and to her family. I thought it was highly disrespectful to the United States of America. The president also saying he brought up impeachment with Speaker Nancy Pelosi today at the White House. And we even talked about that today. I said, why don't you use this for impeachment? And Nancy said, we're not looking to impeach you. I said, that's good, Nancy. That's good. But you know what? You don't impeach people when they're doing a good job. That's good, Nancy. That's good. All right, uh, Mr. Greg Gutfeld, what do you think about the language um, out of this congresswoman's uh, mouth? Uh... I don't care about the language. I think uh, Pelosi's got to get the kids in line. She's basically the school principal here, and the student body is acting out on the first day of school. I mean, shouting impeachment for them is the equivalent of, like, popping a wheelie in the, in the parking lot to impress the girls. And the thing is, Trump is right, okay? It's going to be hilarious to introduce the reasons for impeachment when you've had two years of peace and prosperity. So all you have, when he said there's no reason for impeachment, he is right. He's right. So all they have now is a personal vendetta. And the irony of all of this is that so everybody attacks Trump about his pers personality and character. We get that. They are turning into him. They are now actually she. So she's swearing up a storm. Sounds like a sailor on leave. Where did you get that from? It could be. Maybe she just learned from Trump. They're all turning into <laughs> mini Trumps, actually worse than he is. Yeah, because you heard the audience yeah. roar with applause exactly. afterwards. I mean, they, they eat it, that stuff up. I want them to go for the impeachment because it's going to turn Trump into a folk hero because it's all going to be personal vendetta. What, what do you think about, uh, yeah, Dan, exactly. today's reaction to this congresswoman? Well, listen, I, I don't care about the, the F-bomb at all. I'm a New York guy. I just don't care. I you mean, say that, that's your good morning. I, I, it is. I mean, <laughs> you know, I had my daughter around the other day and there were a couple F-bombs. I was like, oh, my gosh, close your ears. I'm like, you know, it's my, she's heard it, I promise you. We grew up in New York. Um, I don't care about the language, but the impeachment thing is a joke. I mean, are the Democrats serious? Impeach him for what? I mean, what are they going to impeach him for getting elected president? I mean, what's the high crime or misdemeanor? This is hysterical. You would have thought they would have learned their lesson tactically from the Republicans' abject failure to make a dent in Bill Clinton's approval ratings by trying to impeach him. Listen, I'm not obviously condoning Clinton's behavior, but it's clear from a strategic perspective only. It was an absolute flop, and these, this, 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 they're going to they're gonna emulate this failed strategy? Good for them. The Trump will leave office with 60% approval like Clinton did. Marie, what do you think happened behind the scenes after Nancy got wind of this? Do you think there was a nasty phone call? Yeah. Just shut up, Congresswoman, or you're not going to be on any committee. Well, I don't think that the Democrats are actually going to move to impeach Donald Trump. So people will introduce articles of impeachment, individual Congress people, but there will not be a Democratic caucus move to do that unless the Mueller report has some bombshells in it that could be high crimes and misdemeanors, because Dan is right about that Bill Clinton impeachment. Say what you will about the actual legal argument. Politically, that very much hurt the Republicans. But what the Democratic-led House has done Yes, that is like what gets a lot of news, and I understand why. They passed a bill last night to reopen the government. Today they introduced House Bill 1 that would cut down on corruption and political corruption in Washington. It would help, quote, drain the swamp. So while this gets attention, the Democratic House is moving forward to try and show that they can make headlines, but they can also govern. Now they have to do that, Greg. They have to get past day one when you, they're all acting out. You left out the excited. Electoral College. Well, we'll talk about that. Yes. We'll talk about that, I'm sure. But they're, look, they're actually doing some real things behind the scenes, besides just talking about impeachment on leaked videos. Well, I don't think Nancy likes a headline like this. No, do you? no, she doesn't. She said she's not the censorship police, but she doesn't <laughs> like that kind of language. But it also shows a generational divide. And Tom Perez and Kirsten Gillibrand and a lot of other Democrats uh, think it's a cool strategy. And the kids will really re respond to it. They'll love it if you start dropping S and F-bombs all over the place. They don't. Uh, but it's, yeah, I mean, come on, man. The funny thing is, uh, they, they use a justification that this is how the president talks. 
Therefore, uh, this is how we're going to talk. So what you're saying is the way the president comports himself is now acceptable because you're just doing an imitation of the president. But if you're talking about bullying, the kind of language she used, you could argue that that's also bullying. I think the president can handle it, and I don't think he's particularly concerned about it. No, she dishonored her family, Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. She also is guilty of cultural appropriation <laughs> because the phrase dates back to the late 19th century from a murder case in Texas. And I don't believe she's from Texas. No, oh, I, I think you're Haven't right. they forfeited the tone argument completely, though, now the Democrats? I don't want to hear another word from the right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Is there a worse curse word around? I mean, that, I can think of three. Like the curse words at the top. I that's think up, that's up there. Word. Well, that's up there. I mean, that's up yes, there. Samantha it's in the top two. <laughs> FCC yes, rules. Yes, yes, actually, think, yeah. yeah right. And look, I, I think that. I wouldn't have said it. I don't love that she said it, and this is now the story today. I also don't like the impeachment push before Robert Mueller. As a Democrat, I don't like that push before we know what Mueller has. I also think that, like, a lot of the hand wringing online from the right, it just feels very hypocritical after Trump, after Dick Cheney said right. it on the Senate floor. Like, this is... Right. Well, 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 okay, but that's my problem, because if you're so offended by it when Trump does it, you should don't do it. Do it. I, I, I mean, and it's, I, it's a pretty simple fix, and don't justify taken. doing it by saying, well, he did it. That makes you just as guilty, if not more so, because it means that you are not better than the person you're taking issue with. All right. Also, if all that talk about impeachment wasn't enough, listen to this. Now Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wants to dramatically raise taxes on the rich to pay for this Green New Deal and is bragging about being a radical. Listen. Once you get to, like, the tippy tops, uh, on your 10 millionth dollar, uh, sometimes you see tax rates as high as 60 or 70 percent. That doesn't mean all $10 million are taxed at an extremely high rate, but it means that as you climb up this ladder, you should be contributing more. It only has ever been radicals that have changed this country. Abraham Lincoln made the radical decision to sign the, the Emancipation Proclamation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt made the radical decision to embark on establishing programs like Social Security. That is radical. Do you call yourself a radical? Yeah, you know, if that's what radical means, call me a radical. Hmm? Call me a radical. And Congressman Steve Cohen's introducing legislation to eliminate the Electoral College. Greg, they can't get over the 2016 election. Can they, they? they want to eliminate the Electoral College because they lost. That's like saying we need to get rid of the point scoring system in football <laughs> right. because we, you scored more points. So now we're just going to count yeah. the yards. Right. And so if we get more yards, we win. It points have nothing to do with it. So they accused Trump of destroying institutions. In the first two day, they're voting to eliminate one, which is nuts. As, as for uh, AOC, I think this is it's important that you I want hear, you to say her name. I, 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 it's safer for me to say. AOC. <laughs> you can't pronounce and, um, it. Okay. She's a card-carrying socialist. Okay, in the most se in, inside the most successful economic system known to mankind. So it's good to hear her talk about that, right? It's good, and we should pick it apart and laugh about it. It's better to go after AOC for her beliefs than anything else. I think. 70%, Kennedy. That will, uh, that will knock you back in the next year. Well, and, and this is where <laughs> someone like Anderson Cooper has to push her and, and talk about the unintended consequences of a 70% tax rate on the wealthiest Americans because, by definition, they do pay more money in taxes because they make more money and they pay more money into the system. You don't have to tax someone at 70% because it, it's funny, uh, liberals try and completely discredit trickle-down economics. They use the phrase, they don't really know what it means. But if there is a cause and effect relationship by wealth and other people who benefit from that, then there will also be one if rich people have less money to spend. It means they're investing less in companies. They're not starting new businesses. Those new businesses that they're not starting aren't employing people who desperately need to get into the workforce for the first time. And when you shackle people with economic immobility, it is one of the most immoral things Things human beings can do to one another. And so what she's actually putting forth is an I know better than you. I think less of you as a human being. Therefore, I'm going to impose my beliefs upon you, and that is unacceptable, and it is not right. AOC, as Greg likes to call her, taking up a lot of attention. Marie, you think Which, people are jealous on the Democratic side? I think that the right wing has AOC derangement syndrome. Ooh. I think it is. No, we're not even close yet. Oh, really? <laughs> no. I, I, I think that we are so we are so nice to her. It's only a few nuts on Twitter. No, uh, we were saying, I want to hear more from her. Why? Can I? She's a freshman member of Congress who is like near last in seniority. Her ideas will be 
not that important. She'll be one of a huge caucus. I understand but she's why she's on 60 Minutes. So, so that's yes. why I'm saying, that's why, is she, why, are we, why are we the media? Why is she on 60 Minutes? Why does she get all this attention? Why are videos of her dancing because in she's high a poster school child, being late? She's a poster child for statism. But she which doesn't is, runs matter to Kennedy. individuals. It I does. Think she does. She, I think the, she's the dragging. Is, and this is, this is why it matters, because you have an entire generation of people who have no idea about the consequences of communism and socialism and the millions and millions of people but laugh about it all you I'm want but my laughing. family lost their lives and their farms and fled to this country with a suitcase there are, to escape communism there are 40 new freshman members of congress many of them which with much more plausible ideas that could actually be made policy many of them that just aren't as interesting on it's, social it's media it's not her it's not her lipstick it's, it's not her outfit they're, they're not getting let's, let's, let's get in and they're the not problem, getting though, attention the problem, because we're obsessed with her is those other freshman member of congress don't have 1.2 million followers on twitter and aren't on Why 60 minutes that matter? because she's talking to 1.2 million Trump. as kennedy said impressionable people who actually believe confiscating the money of free citizens in the united states may work like that outrageous Jesse proposal to yesterday. tax people that was very nice i saw and that I took it while. but i'm not sure it was, it i'm not sure it was the 10 million she was talking about no, and that not it was even like close. seven dollars but this is an economically <laughs> illiterate ridiculous proposal i am not upset i couldn't care less about aoc ocasio cortez at all i don't care about her dance videos in college what i, I do enjoyed care that about by the way is proposing an absurd socialist economic confiscation of our tax dollars that's going to destroy the u.s economy you that know matters. what i like about her she compared herself to lincoln and fdr and i respect that and you know who else did that donald, donald trump. trump there it but is you have donald to understand trump. that that the more that you obsess or say stuff about it, you trumperize her that's how Trump well, won. She needs to he make $10 billion first. He sucked she can all be the air out. Oh, she'll right. probably give it all away.